Hi, guys. I noticed that we've been having such a hard time logging in. I thought I would put together a video so we can understand the basics on how to be successful on our computer. Before we do anything, believe it or not, to be successful on your computer, you're going to need a journal and your pen. I recommend that everything you do for your computer is on the first few pages of your journal. Please do not write this anywhere but in the journal or on the front cover. Because this information is so important and I don't want to lose it, I am going to write on the front cover my log in information. And Mrs. Pierce, could we have a quick look at that? in the camera lens proper. Okay. This is what it's supposed to look like. My login information. I'm going to make it important. And also another thing that's important to keep track of is logins come in two steps. You have your username. I'm going to write that down. User name and password. So you need to keep track of your username and password. Now what I'm going to do in the margins is if I'm going to use a different program, I'm going to draw a little picture over here to remind me of what I'm using this for. Now for our computer, we start off with sign into your Chromebook. And with this, there is a tricky step. You have to bring your cursor up to the blue thing that says sign in with a different account. Click on that. And here you write your email in. Now a lot of you are having a hard time understanding what your email is. In school, at least in Chavez Elementary, we give you a code that looks a lot like email and it ends with this at wccschools.org. Now your email also will start with a lot of letters you find in your name. In fact, for some of you, it's just your name. I'm going to sign on using, gee, who should I sign on with? I'm going to use Yamilets. So I'm going to sign in with her code. Her name is Yamilet. That's her first name. And then her last name is Chetla. And there's a dot, a little tiny dot, and it has to go in there. It's not something you skip, and it wasn't a mistake when someone typed this up. Now, what's funny about Yamilet's name is that it, her full last name is Chetla Flores. But in her special sign-in, it just stops at floor. And then I click on Next. Do you see how I didn't write this in over here? That's because it's done automatically. And that's when we click Next to proceed? Yep. Now, we have just put in our very first username, and now they want our password. I worked really hard to make sure your password is always the same, always, for every single one of your programs. And in Chetla's case, And just to be clear, our username is not the same as a password? Yes, this is all a number. Now, I want to point out something. When you're typing it in, you cannot see it. If you need to look at it briefly, you go over here and click on it so you can see the numbers. So it looks like an eyeball? Yeah, it looks like an eyeball, so you can see it. But as you can see, we have these little dots instead of the numbers you typed in. Once you have it all in and you check it with the eyeball, 
then you click next this is a long wait it certainly is and whenever you see this little wheel turning that means the computer's thinking and it says all set and that's when we say get started yep get started so I'm logged into the classroom now right yep but oh no there's another step here you log in with Google we click on that and we're going to the clever page now and here we are on the clever page I didn't type anything in this is what we call a springboard because this is where we go to find all of our programs I want to point out some very important things about our springboard one is that up here there's a thing called messages up here is where I try my darndest to leave all the messages that are important for you to know so all you have to do is click on them and you will see the messages I have sent you now what's also important is you can send me a message using this so if you're having trouble at home you can just go to the message board and leave me a message oh look what I have here I have usernames and here's the username we just used here that was to get on the computer I have more usernames up here and it says here your password for everything and it gives you a number your username is for Google there it is for multiplication.com there it is for prodigy there it is so we have different usernames but our passwords always the same oh no I'm not going to forget to do something really important I'm going to write this down so I'm going to write Google and I'm going to write down everything that's there and then check this out I'm gonna make sure that dot is really big so I can see it I've stopped before the at this is what makes it good for Google so I don't need to write the at for Google when you're on the computer and you're logging on to the computer you use this part when you're logging in to clever you use this part but there are times where you don't use this you just use the top part and the password is three eight four now remember I promised you that the password would be the same no matter what I kept that promise and look for multiplication.com I'm gonna write the multiplication symbol and I'm gonna write down my username for that I'm going to be careful and make sure I have it all down oh and then there's prodigy Oh, Prodigy is that funny looking P. It looks weird and it kind of loopies. I, I'm, I'm trying to remember what the Prodigy looked like. And there it is, another username. Oh, look, here's Zern, which we all know is a big Z. but it doesn't have the rest of the stuff on it 
all of these have the same password. I don't need to write this number again. Well, now that I have that, I'm going to do something interesting. I'm going to write down in my messages, I have copied my usernames and my password. Where's the backspace on this thing? I'm just going to send it. That way I know that that has been done. Now that I'm done with messages, I'm going to go to the general room and here we have Mrs. Pierce's page. I gave a lot of shortcuts here for things that are important to our classroom and we also have Google Classroom. This is some place where you go all the time Now here is Ms. Devala's classroom. It's not Mrs. Pierce's classroom. We have to go over here, click, and enter the class code. The class code for Google Classroom is A-U-U-C-R-O-S. And then we hit enter. Let's stop. Okay, now I'm going to hit the, the word join. And here we are in 2020 vision. It's a 3-4 split. And at the top we see stream. Over here we see classwork. And we can click here. And this is where you start seeing all of the assignments that we're going to be doing. But we can't do our assignments until we get good at using the computer. If you want to see the assignment from Good Morning, which is our Jamboard, it's right here. These little buttons over here, we call these let words buttons or hotspots. They send you exactly to where you want to go. So if you want to learn a tech tip, you click on tech tip. If you want to see what's going on in reading, you go down to reading. That's how we navigate around Google Classroom. To see the pages that are important to your class, we go down here. Here is our current Zoom room. I renew this every morning. This is where you go to click and go to your Zoom room. You don't need to click anything else. This is the place to go. You want to see what's new in the classroom? This is our web page. It's for our class. There I am. Tells you what to do if you get stuck in last year's class. It tells you the Zoom Room code again. Look, here's Google Classroom's code again. Oh, here's a code for Epic. Maybe we're going to have to talk about Epic. And here is a parent code for Class Dojo. And if English is not the flavor of the home, Click on home and look, Ogar. Hay nuestras instrucciones en español también. I have information about our classroom. Zoom, which programs we're going to be using. I have the Zoom Room schedule. I have our goals. I even have our lesson plans for the whole week. 
I have the calendar and the standards we're hoping to learn. Our black belts need to be posted, but that will just take a few minutes of my time. But this is where you get all your information. This is another pathway to Google Classroom. This is a pathway to Class Dojo. Here is Prodigy. To go to Prodigy, Let's take a peek at where we're logged in. What does your wizard look like? There we go. So as you can see, I just signed us out. That's how we log in. We use our codes and we use our, our codes for classrooms. Our usernames express who we are. Our password is always the same. Thanks.